I... Yes, a bit too many Seth videos, but we'll do just one more for this week, and then we'll stop for a little bit, but yeah. Apparently Seth has a bunch of androgynous body pillows of femboys. I don't know why, but that's um, that's a thing. That well then. just sounds like so. Sometimes I don't understand why Seth does what he does, hey, but yeah. Hey, people. Seth here. Today, I'll be covering a game which really tests the limits of Seth my ADD meditation. Of a oh. game where you can grow... Oh, Redolin. <laughs> oh my god, I used to take that as a tiny kid. ...an empire. Watch it prosper. Only to stub your toe, die from an infection, and watch your empire dissolve because you have no idea how inheritance works. Catch oh. cancer. Beat cancer by praying it away. Thanks, God. Spend money. Mm. Invest into your own people. Lose your money. Go heavily into debt. Borrow money from the Jews. Consider <sighs> paying them back. Keep it instead. Oh my God. I just... <laughs> By expelling yeah, the Jews from your country. Don't feel bad about it. We've been expelled so often, you really won't hurt our feelings if you do it again. Mer yeah, Seth is Jewish. <laughs> That's uh, why he okay. makes these jokes. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, I forgot what else I was going to say, but yeah, Crusader Kings is one of those games that I can't really get into because I like being like in the combat. Like, seeing what's going on, really, with combat, and for these type of big strategy games, combat usually isn't a priority. Marry your sister. Divorce your sister because she's too old. Marry uh, her daughter instead. What? Turn your uh, family tree into a family uh, circle. And this is actually pretty normal. It's called inbreeding, and royal families used to do that because they thought it would make their blood more pure, because they couldn't possibly think of... Marrying a peasant or a commoner, this uh, caused a lot of problems, such as uh, one of the rulers of Spain being not being able to walk around, and when he finally died, they found some black organs that they're not sure what they were. Hmm. He would also have the Habsburg chin, which basically means his lower chin outstretched his upper chin. Or his up his lower jaw stretches his upper jaw. Why did I say chin? Oh. Which means they could never really close and their mouths. Your dynasty burned to the ground oh, as your children yeah, collect every chromosome known to man. Mm, what'd you say, Fable? I said that poor person must have been in constant pain. Probably. And of course, now I'm talking about the most that, prolific. That sounds really bad. Yes. Yes, it does. A complex and intricate medieval incest simulator on the market today. <laughs> Crusader Kings 2. Crusader Kings 2 is a game covering nearly 700 years of human history, huh. during which time we treated each other very, very well. Religious huh. tolerance was at an all-time high. Human uh, life was short and painful, and the man amputated your leg. Like, like, surviving to your, like, your 20s or 30s or 40s was incredible at this time could probably also trim your beard. In other words, the good old days. But with modern technology, those good old days can be experienced all over again. Oh my god. From the perspective god. of a single person you pick from the world map, who is then forced to live through your terrible Dad, decision. You play, CK. Slay the princess. Slay the princess? Yes. Why slay the princess, Fable? What possible reason could you have? You'll understand if you play it. What? falls under the definition of grand strategy which yeah, might grand lead strategy. you to believe it's a strategy game in truth grand strategy is neither grand nor strategic you just yeah it's really not it's more about just, just paint the map with color crayons and then <laughs> upload your meme image of a holy roman empire onto reddit for those sick upvotes grand yeah, Grand Strategy is not all that grand, I will be honest. I forgot the name was Grand Strategy, but yeah. Strategy is to strategy what doom is to the field of literature. <laughs> doom is not a very good book. In fact, oh. it's not a book at all. So, don't <laughs> be intimidated. Mean, this game I think there is a doom book, actually, but it's probably not a very good read, I will be honest. 
is actually just a very simple Excel spreadsheet with a lot of poor UI scaling. But Pretty much. That's not the point of it. The what point is? is the characters, which behave oh. as uncontrollable agents of chaos that act and react to everything you do, often in the most unpredictable, illogical, and insane way possible. In a so basically when I'm dealing with Fable. Or Platy. Because sometimes Fable just says things. I have no idea what he's talking about. The whales, Mac. The whales. Oh yeah, and while I was on stream yesterday, Fable kept talking about wanting to start a club about punching orcas. I, um... They have it coming. No, I don't think they do, anyway. In other words, they act exactly they like humans. But what is oh. your objective in Crusader Kings 2? Well, oh. the same objective as every human being. As Oscar oh. Wilde once said, everything in the world is about sex. Except what? sex. Sex is about power. Power what? is what you're ultimately trying to gain. And in the medieval world, there are only two ways of Wait, did they change it to World of Warcraft somehow? What's going on here? At power. War and marriage. Essentially, you're sleeping your way to the top. Yeah, I think he just somehow used a World of Warcraft mod. And in the process, you pray you don't get poisoned, cucked, or inbred before your genes can pass on to the next generation. If you okay. fail to preserve your bloodline, your dynasty ends and the game is over. You can't just pass on your genes, you gotta look after them too. Unless, of uh. course, your seduction skills are so high that every woman in a hundred kilometer radius <laughs> is already knocked up with your kids. What? Children aren't exactly the best at staying alive. Your child... Yeah could be killed during a mass archery incident by some madman armed with an automatic crossbow or uh i don't remember if automatic crossbow were ever actually made but people make them now crossbows are actually extremely dangerous because they're the fastest flying projectile that could go right through armor simply smothered by his own pillow by his oh. own mother holding oh. the pillow so much like stocks and investment i recommend diversifying your assets luckily oh. the same applies to your potential rivals one of my favorite things in this game is performing late-term abortions what? now infanticide is not something i support it's uh, something i recommend Remember, what the hell Oh my god. today, you can still destroy them tomorrow. Whether or not your dynasty can survive entropy and uncertainty will depend on how tactfully you can balance the needs and wants of your realm, which okay. is completely impossible. Your vassals uh. always want more land, your wife always wants more jewelry, and your brother <laughs> always wants more of your wife. Try to satisfy everyone, and you'll end up satisfying no one, which is why oh. the secret to a long reign is disposing of everyone who doesn't like you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that you're safe, secure, mm. and absolutely at the mercy of this game's RNG system. Aside oh. from conscious actions, schemes, and intrigue, this game is actually played by hitting the space bar and letting time flow by. What does oh. time hold in store for you? Surprises. A lot of... Yeah, this is quite the brother of horse. That's quite literally Warcraft, I'm surprises. pretty sure. I've actually never played World of Warcraft, so, um, yeah. I've only seen videos of it. And you're gonna hate every single one of them. 99% of the gameplay is based on random events. Oh, some are good, really some are fun. bad. <coughs> I'm dying. It was. And apparently. you're completely powerless to stop them. Having Bye, a great bro. time? Not anymore. You've got. Oh no, Fable's dying. Quickly, give him the Heimlich maneuver. Remember me. Bleh. No. Well, Plague, you you've too, got. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Syphilis, you've got lover's pox from uh, sleeping with your maid. What do you do? Well, uh, the only thing you can do, put your trust and faith in your doctor and hope for the best. Also, uh, execute your maid for giving you an STI. The uh, doctor manages to cure your plague. A miracle. But the syphilis? That's gonna be a gift that keeps on giving. Thank uh, your doctor. Then, execute him for incompetence. Order what? a new doctor. He's insane, paranoid, and <laughs> probably a spy from Imperial China. But you know what? what? He might just be the guy for the job. <laughs> it turns out, he wasn't the guy for the job, and two of your direct heirs are now dead. They found rice grains in their chamber, but no conclusive evidence. Oh well. Anyway, What the hell? What the hell? Spymaster Mittens? I don't think a cat could be a very good Spymaster, Fable. I, no, they're, they're a great spy. I have like 20 of them watching you right now. I mean, what? <laughs> what? 
Oh, then. Spy Master informs you that your doctor is trying to murder you. You okay. confront him and make him feel very guilty about it. He agrees to stop trying to murder you. More okay. of your children end up dead. Oh also, my god, stop you using him. a lifelong struggle with STIs, your wife was having an affair with your other wife. What? And you, you've got two actually. God bless being a Muslim. Luckily, lesbianism <laughs> is- What the hell? Hey, so some more news. What is it, like, No bro? risk to your dynasty. Yes, in Crusader oh. Kings 2, having a homosexual wife is probably the best decision you could possibly make. But oh. it doesn't save you, because your doctor just saved you from a life of sexually transmitted disease. The parent approved for a kitten named Chase. We brought him home this morning. Oh, that's nice! By killing you with a lethal dose of Chinese. I hope you like the little kitten. More spies. Oh my god. Cats are not all spies, <laughs> Fable. That's what you think, mister. These herbal remedies. So, try hard as you might. All your efforts will eventually come to ruin. You'll get cucked, and then you die. Quit the game, mm. and start again. Ultimately, you're playing Crusader Kings 2 for the journey, not the outcome. And the stories you create okay. in the process are unique to your experience. Oh, no game cool. will go quite the same. Which is why there's no reason for me to explain mechanics. Instead, let me share some stories. Once, I played as Charlemagne, King ah. of the Franks, after my brother died of... Yeah, Charlemagne, the King of the Franks, rose the Holy Roman Empire, and it's kind of crazy. Because the whole system back then was, for every kid you basically had, you would have to split up the, like, inheritance to all of them, including lands. But it just so happened, Charlemagne was an only child. Of entirely natural causes, I was left to think on how I would conquer the and rest of Europe. Conquer. However, RNG interrupted my schemes. Just like that, I woke up one day and I was gay. What? Most unfortunate. However, fortunately for me, another man of immense power was simultaneously struck with homo lust, the Pope. The and so what? I seduced the Pope. Pope Stephanus the I was an utterly eh? geriatric uh, But I knew deep insane. down inside his soul, he was just misunderstood i wrote him a romantic poem roses Why? are red violets are blue i like penis and so do you my oh words my reached him and had their intended effect uh, inside his heart and soon i what the hell it was inside the Pope. The church was oblivious to our forbidden love. They sneeze. had no idea. Old Stephanus was aching for more than just back pain. Turns out... What the fuck? Seth, you don't need to say it like that. It was very advantageous to have the Pope as your lover. Any piece of Catholic land I wanted, he granted. In exchange ah. for French sausage, I received the entire... Why? Christian just why? Pope. I don't know! Continent, and that's the historically accurate account of no, how it's not. took Europe by taking the Pope's ass. In another game, I played as the Polish because okay. I enjoy being abused by my enemies and my supposed friends who need more land. Yeah, that happens a lot. Poland has been uh, torn to shreds and like treated terribly throughout history. This is a known fact that they kind of get screwed over at every opportunity. It's incredibly sad. I feel just bad for them. But yeah, that's why now they're starting to get... They're creating one of the biggest armies. Because they're tired of being pushed around. How much more land? Well, however much I had. Luckily, the bubonic plague began to ravage Europe. I oh. lost most of my territory from before, so I didn't feel too bad about it. My peasants and their livelihood were now somebody else's problem. Meanwhile, myself and my court went into mm. hiding. The gates were shut, the keys were thrown away. Until all of this boils over. However, we had another problem. A food. Uh, yeah. The lack of it. I didn't really think about that. I assumed every king in the Middle Ages just had a Tesco Express around <laughs> the corner. So we waited, we starved, and then we found an amazing solution. Why not eat the rest of a corpse? Oh I my mean, god. We're not working anyway. So we did just that. And it was entirely sustainable because I kept repeatedly inviting beautiful women to join my court. To oh be my god. By the court. I'm not proud of what I did, but I did what I had to. Which, Why? it turned out, was completely unnecessary. Apparently, Poland was not affected by the Black Plague, and I sort of just freaked out. And <laughs> oh my god, Seth. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Hey, fuck.
character. So basically, yeah, the Polish hate being pushed around anymore. They don't want to be pushed around anymore with all the BS that they had to deal with. And ate a lot of innocent people for absolutely no reason. For no but reason I'm whatsoever. This game. Luckily, such horrific events are unlikely in modern times because of modern healthcare and sanitation. However, <sighs> anyway, I'm not gonna say anything. The plague did have to start. Don't somewhere. you guys say anything either? I'd like to say a few words about, um, uh, our mold. Yeah, uh -huh. stop filming it. That's what I want to say. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I'm not the one responsible <laughs> for you guys leaving organic matter for so long that we, we have fluffy organic <laughs> What the fuck? Well, I was about to get rid of it. Ew! on display for the world to see. Now let me... Ew, what the hell? It's, what? Ew. Vampires. Not Texas. Why are you saying not Texas? Inside my friend's apartment for my land. Oh, that was their friend's <laughs> Stop filming the mold. Why is there mold in the trash can? How does it build up enough time to turn into mold? This game. I decided to break history and play with custom parameters. I designed okay. it so every country was ruled by teenage girls aged 14 and over. Why? It was pure chaos. It was a period of intense suffering. <laughs> also, hell? I later found out I forgot to turn off Great Conquerors. So eventually, <laughs> most of the known world was overrun by Genghis Khan and her teenage sorority. <laughs> Luckily, she mostly left me alone. <laughs> Unfortunately, even if I got a matrilineal marriage, air okay. succession laws would mean that any child I produce might try and overthrow me. I okay. was screwed, figuratively. But once again, RNG tossed me a bone. Through intense meditation and satanic That's rituals, a, oh, wow. I became immortal. On the other hand, uh, I also became an insane lunatic. And one uh, day, in the style of Caligula, I replaced one of my counselors with a horse. Why? I was infatuated. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't marry him. Our legal Why? system was not a. Why the hell was. I. This is some crazy shit that apparently can happen here. Aw, the cute little kitty. There's a little. Yeah, you know, someone just posted a cat in my Discord. Advanced enough to consider mm. human horse relations. More importantly, I, uh, the game didn't let me. So good. I used an exploit. I made my horse a bishop. And Why? in the process of turning my pony into a priest, he uh. automatically filled an entire kingdom <laughs> with horses, which somehow could be married. So what? I married and made love to a horse, producing an entire royal line of children that had no concern for the decadent the ways of man. They were what pure the and majestic. Their only concerns were what eating carrots and shit on the streets <laughs> at this point my queen was like a bakery because she was getting bread there's many oh stories to tell but you get the general idea every game what you ever hell? play will start with honest sincere intentions which will inevitably be corrupted and reduced to the most depraved and malicious <laughs> acts you could ever conceive okay. but hey it's fun of course no game like crusader kings 2 is complete without multiplayer and friends which always ends with everyone sleeping with your wife this Why? happens so often <laughs> that I sleep with everyone else's wife. <laughs> He's doing this for multiplayer too. That's case. It sounds like Seth is fuck every every man's wife at the moment. <laughs> I've only yes. fucking three men's wives. That's because there's only three men available in this fucking country. Multiplayer <laughs> is great. Some of the best shenanigans take place in multiplayer, and luckily only the host has to have the three billion DLC packs necessary to make this game playable. The base oh game, God. much like a woman in her mid forties, is a bit barren. You really need the DLC to add some basic features that should have been in the base game. I think ZK2 <sighs> is a wonderful game, but it's also a game published by Paradox. Oh no. Even though I love it, I can't recommend it because the whole damn thing cost around anything from 120 to $200. Holy hell. God damn it, Paradox and their bullshit. With that same amount of money, you can satisfy your daily caloric intake for 17 uh, to 28 days on nothing yeah. but dollar menu cheeseburgers from McDonald's. Why does he have a knife basic, ready for An essential components to human life but if you've got the money to spare go oh my for god it, yeah, just marry someone me. rich most people do it for a visa you can do it for video games alternative oh my god you don't need to do it for either of those
Alternatively, there are ways to obtain the DLC. Southeast London, hole in the wall. Take the USB what? stick and don't look back. If what? you do, run. If you hesitate, I'm not responsible and I don't know you. Good <laughs> luck. And if you're not fully satisfied, don't uh -oh. worry. There's an entire modding community out there to fix all your issues. Uh -oh. And it's not too difficult to mod the game yourself. In my case, I was getting PTSD from all the deaf sounds, which play oh. each time a family member bites the dust. For which, anyone relevant well, to who dies, huh? For yourself. Oh! That's horrifying. Impaled by. Oh. Oh, wow. I think you'd agree these are a little bit unnerving. So yeah. I replaced every deaf sound with a bass boosted sound clip of Lego Yoda. <laughs> Now this is much more soothing to the ear. <laughs> just the fucking Lego Yoda sound going off repeatedly just cracks me up. This constant Lego Yoda for some reason. I don't even mind when people die now. It sounds great. <laughs> Final score. I hope you enjoyed reading this essay as much as I enjoyed writing it. After playing this game for so long, I finally figured out its purpose. The primary goal of Crusader Kings 2, and perhaps life itself, isn't about living a good or bad life. It's about living an interesting life, and inevitably yeah, to die an interesting that. death. So, you can loudly proclaim on your deathbed, Thank God, I didn't waste it all on a boring life. Once you're dead and buried, you won't just be a footnote in history. You'll be an interesting footnote note in history <laughs> take and do whatever you please in that this sounds life. like someone breaking ca candy in a plastic bag the yoda the logo the lego death sound is actually because really funny it ends and life can take anything <laughs> yeah. and everything away from you except your stories so better make them interesting because we're all heading towards the same destination seven oh. out of ten i enjoyed it i think it's very interesting however i'm always filled with regret and a constant state of what ifs what if i just spent all that money on cheeseburgers would <laughs> i be happier i don't know mm. i guess it would depend uh. on whether the burgers were fresh or just the hot stale garbage they leave for a couple of hours as always more content to come the so black stay death tuned. oh Again, thanks to the many members of a merchant's guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos you're all truly wonderful have a good one crush my heart with a rock i must what <laughs> okay here we go what the hell is someone doing what the hell what the hell seth crush stick with run rock i must He's got a lot of patrons, dear lord. Anyway, thank you all so much. If you like what we're doing here, please do consider following, and I'll uh, see you later. We'll uh, also check out these two down below. The Chrono and Feeble. They're both in the description, or they should be. Anyway, yeah. thank you all so much, and I'll see you later.